if you have been following my channel, I love working on DIY projects, especially making those cordless power tools. Now once I'm done sketching the whole idea about a project, the first thing to find is the right motor and in most of the cases, it's a brush DC motor. But for this project, we are going to need a precise motor with lots of torque and you can't expect both of them from these brushed motor. So what we are left with is to use a brushless motor and more specifically a stepper motor. But the problem with this motor is that it has got four wires and you need a specific controller to run these motors. And in today's video, what we are going to build is a modular unit that can not only control the speed of this motor, but the direction as well. So let's jump into the schematic. The controller is based around the popular A4988 stepper motor driver. Well, this thing is capable of doing what we want but it needs a pulse width modulation signal with variable frequency which will help us to control the speed of the motor. Now to keep things simple, we are not going to use a microcontroller, instead we are going to use a triple five timer IC to produce the required pulse width modulation signal whose frequency can be varied by using a 10k potentiometer. Now to change the direction of rotation, the DIR pin of the motor driver needs to be switched between the ground and the VCC potentials. For that, we are going to use a toggle switch. Moreover, the logic board needs to be operated at 5 volt, which is the VDD pin, while you can run the motor on anywhere between 8 to 35 volt, which is the V motor pin. Now to make this controller a modular unit for using in different projects, what we are going to do is to design a dedicated printed circuit board and added a bunch of complementary components which will help us to work with this unit more efficiently. Once I finalized the design, I headed up to PCBWay.com and after going through a bunch of options there, I just ordered my PCBs. They are offering great quality PCBs at an amazing price and I would like to thank PCBWay as they have made this video possible. So guys, make sure you check out their website to order your customized printed circuit boards. The PCBs arrive within just a week and the quality is flawless. Now as I get my hands on the boards, I gathered all the components and started assembling them as indicated on the board. Now the best part about putting up so much time earlier designing these boards is that once you get these boards, you can produce as many copies as you want and all you need to do is to drop the components as shown on the board. Now once the board is ready, I've inserted the triple five timer IC and the motor driver in place and connected the motor to the board. Once the controller is connected to a 12 volt battery, the motor is started to rotate as expected. The direction of rotation can be changed by toggling the switch and the speed of the rotation can be controlled by turning the knob of the potentiometer. So guys, with our hands on the desired motors, we are soon going to build a semi-automatic drill press, so stay tuned for that video.